Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial video on how to make your eyebrows move while using face rig in your VTuber model. So we're going to start off with my old face rig here because it helps illustrate really what's going on here generally and then we're going to move on to actually doing it with the other face rig. Since we've singled out the eye right parameter we need the brow right Y, brow right angle and brow right form so we can make the eyebrow move. So if we were to click on the brow right Y, you can see that the eyebrow is moving up and down. The left key form is the lowest point of the eyebrow and the right key form is the highest point of the eyebrow. And then we got the eyebrow angle and this tilts the eyebrow, but we also have a third key form here in the middle which is the default position. So this is how your eyebrow would normally look. But when you slide it to the left here, it's almost like it's tilting to be more angry. And when you slide it to the right, this looks more a happy or a possibly nearing concerned expression. Then we've got finally the brow right form and this changes the form of your eyebrow. So as you can see, this is the standard shape. So if I was to bring this to the middle again, you'll be able to see a change. So this again is like a happy state for the eyebrow and an angry state for the eyebrow or the neutral position. Now with this looking the way it is, I'm going to try moving this brow right angle. So if I was to just slide the keyform to the left, you can see that the eyebrow is becoming more angry. If we go to the right, we can see that the eyebrow tilts to the left slightly and it becomes almost more worried looking. Now if we do the same for this, this just brings it back to its normal state. Now you might be wondering why did I choose to pick an angry eyebrow? Personally, as far as face rig goes, it seems to detect more a frown than a worried expression or any other eyebrow expression for that matter. So that's why I've got this eyebrow pose as a default. So what we're going to do is just grab all these parameters that says brow right angle and just bundle it together so we can keep things uniform and organized. We do have the brow right X and I'm not 100% sure of that one so I've just always stuck with the brow right Y. So we have the brow right Y and brow right angle and brow right form. Now to make things easier you could just delete all these parameters here because we don't need the left parameters. So these are the only three that you need at least using my current method. So we need to find our eyebrow piece. This is the standard eyebrow that I have set in place. And we're going to make keyforms for it for each parameter. So brow right Y, we need two keyforms. Brow right angle needs three. And brow right form needs two. We're now set up to start altering our eyebrow. So let's start by moving the eyebrow up and down. I'm going to go to the bottom keyform here and start bringing the eyebrow down like this. And I recommend doing this subtly as well. And the default position for the eyebrow that we had before will be the higher eyebrow the higher state. Then we're going to move on to the eyebrow angle here. So before we move on to brow right angle, make sure that the keyform is selected for the far right. And we're going to go to brow right angle and slide to the far left. So this far left has to be the angry state for the eyebrow. So all we really need to do is just tilt the eyebrow like this. 
and then for the far right that's going to be more tilted to the left so we set up the brow right angle for the default position now we take the keyform and go to the far left of brow right y so if we go to the brow right angle you'll see that for the default position it's fine as we want it to be but then if we go to the far left it's raised up again so we need to actually bring this eyebrow down first for it to align with the default position this can be done also for more perfect results if you were to go Control shift c on the middle key form here and then paste it here with the control shift v so it should give you the exact values you need and then do the same for this keyform here just control shift v once you've copied it now it shouldn't bob up and down now we need to create the angle for this eyebrow position you can if you want move it slightly so it looks a little bit better you don't have to just rotate it you can just bring it into the middle a little bit more and then we're going to also bring it back for the right position of the angle so we got a bit of angle going on for this position for the brow right y parameter so we've done the main movements for that we're going to move on to the actual brow right form so we've set literally everything up for this key form here now we need to make the actual eyebrow form for when my character frowns now if once you slide back to this you'll notice that everything has reset but we don't need to worry about that just yet other than make sure that everything's at default position so make sure that the brow right y parameter is set to this keyform here and brow right angle is set to the middle so that we know that we are in default position now make sure also that brow right form is selected on the left far left keyform we're going to use the deform path edit tool for this eyebrow so we can manipulate the points a bit better now I think what I'm going to do here is add another one here as well because this is the point where the eyebrow will start bending quite a bit so there may be more points that we need for that once you've got your points down using the path edit tool we can start by manipulating the eyebrow so it looks more angrier now it might be good to make this more subtle than anything else because with my current method I actually have other eyebrows so I've got like an angry brow here I've got a happy brow and a sad brow these I plan to swap out with the standard brow when I do my facial expressions so again we will get into that in a future video on how to do that but what we're trying to do here is just add a little bit more expression to our character that can be achieved through how natural the face rig detects your eyebrows so instead of it just being stationary and it's not moving at all we're just giving it some slight movement with the camera for when we do happen to be frowning now the thing is with me is I want to make sure that as much as we only need to really move this part here to imply movement that the eyebrow is becoming more angry if you don't move these slightly it will still look a little odd if it's just stone still so I'm just editing it slightly more so that there is an element of movement when it transitions from one pose to another and I think I'm okay with that now as you can see this was only for the default position same for this too so now we have to literally copy copy and paste this deformed eyebrow into the other keyform so I'll show you what I mean 
So what we're going to do is select the middle keyform here with the eyebrow values we just edited and then go control shift C. Highlight this keyform and go control shift V. And there we go. It's changed the eyebrow and we do that also for the right keyform in brow right angle. So we just go control shift V. So we go to the brow right Y parameter, right click on the keyform, copy the values by going control shift C and then go to the far left and go control shift V. So now we've done this eyebrow as, as it's supposed to be. So just to say, see the brow right form parameter as a toggle between the angry eyebrow state to a happier or neutral eyebrow state. So this is kind of like an on and off switch basically that face rig will do automatically when it sees that your eyebrow is in position to activate it this way. Now we've technically done what we need to do for these particular parameters but once we've moved to this parameter keyform here we also have to edit this brow right angle including this one here at the bottom. I know it can be super confusing I really don't like doing eyebrows for this reason but here we are. <laughs> so basically make sure that your brow right form parameter keyform is selected like i say this is the main switch between the two you want this to be the angry eyebrow so we have it set up here so that means we need to have it set up here too so just go Control shift c on this keyform here and then Control shift v And then do the same on the far left. Control Shift V. So there we go. We've made the toggle. We've made it move up and down for the neutral position. And now we've got an angry state for our angry toggle here. But of course it's not moving. We need to make it move. So it's just about programming it effectively as we have done with the neutral here. Uh, to move accordingly to the way we want it to move. So we're going to make sure that the brow right angle is selected into the middle because this is the neutral position for the eyebrow. And then we're going to edit the brow right Y accordingly. So just to remind you, the far right is to raise the eyebrow and the far left is to lower the eyebrow. So what we have to do is bring this eyebrow down a bit and then bring this eyebrow up a little bit. It doesn't have to be too much. Again, feel free to adjust. I would personally go for something that's subtler. You don't want it to be bopping up and down too much. And there we go. We've got some basic up and down movement. Now, if we go to the left, you can see it's raising up again. So we need to do the same thing. Make sure that the brow right angle is selected in the middle. Go control shift C and paste the values into the left keyform. So it should all be the same now. Now, just to remind you again, this is the most angriest state of the eyebrow and this is the most relaxed state of the eyebrow. So if we go onto the far left, we can tilt this to be stronger if we wanted to, like that. And then with this one, we can rotate it to be like this. And it kind of looks like a worried eyebrow expression. And then we're going to have to do the same thing on this side too. So this is the state where the eyebrow is higher up 
than this state on the brow right y parameter so we have to make another set of eyebrow poses to accommodate the raise of the eyebrow in this keyform so again since it's bopping up and down again go into the middle keyform here on the brow right angle parameter go control shift c and go on to the left parameter and go control shift v and then on the other one control shift v so everything is exactly where it need, needs to be and honestly maybe you don't even need to do anything other than that because it will keep it straight. It's really up to you whether you want the eyebrow to have more additional movement from this point on using the eyebrow right angle. I think it was more necessary for the angriest state, the lowest state, but actually if you're happy with the way it looks as an angry state you probably don't even need to do this part here but I like it to have a little bit more expression myself so I give it added movement. This is the highest state of the angry expression so we can bring it down again angle it again to where you want it to be and then angle this the other way at the highest state so if we were to mess with the brow right form you can see that the eyebrow toggles from the angry state to the neutral standard. So if you start using the sliders here, you can see that it's moving from side to side. This one's raising up and down. And if you go onto the angry eyebrow state, you can see that there's a toggle for that too. And we got a raised eyebrow for it too. And we also got some movement for the highest state of the angry eyebrow as well. Oh boy, I tell you, this is one of the most complex and confusing <laughs> parameters to do, I think. Do let me know in the comments below if, if there's an easier way of doing these eyebrows, because I feel like that maybe my approach is probably the most hardest approach, but it works. I can definitely say that this approach works, but I do wonder if there is an easier way of doing this, because this is super confusing to try and put into words into a tutorial format. You have to literally be at your full attention watching this video to get this right and it's a little bit confusing and I do know that. So please persevere with it. I know it's difficult but it's worth it if you're wanting to give your character a bit of a natural eyebrow movement. But as always, thank you all so much for watching the video guys. I hope it was helpful in figuring out how to do eyebrows. It may take some trial and error to get it right and you may have to watch this video a few times to get it right but you need your full attention on this it has to be said this one is not the easiest one to do but either way this makes the eyebrow move at least my version of the eyebrow so yeah i hope it's helpful and hope to see you all in the next video in the next video we're going to actually make a start on making this head turn using the angle x y and z parameters so i hope to see you all then and i'll see you later bye guys